Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Got a very special unboxing for you today. This is one I've been trying to find all over the place. It's hard, it's a hard to find one. But I found one and it looks like they're getting sold out. So if, I'm going to let you know about it. So if you want to go get one for yourself and try it out for yourself, you can. All right, here we go. Doing the unboxing today. This is one of my old school favorites. Number 154. My tie like Nancy Thompson Chris. Customized Chris. Alright, here we go. This one's coming from Blade HQ. Blade HQ. Yes, comrade, it's a dagger from Russia, Mother Russia. This is my first Russian knife, my very first Russian knife. You guys are seeing some history here. My very first Russian knife. I've been wanting one of these ever since I saw it on YouTube. I even tried to order one straight from Russia, because from Russia they have the variety and stuff like that. But my credit cards or banks won't won't allow me to do that. <laughs> so Blade HQ is the only place I found that you can get. Um, oh, this is nice. What we got here? We got some extra screws. Oh, we got extra um, stain. I mean, that, our hardened insert. Hardened steel insert for the frame lock. Isn't that cool? We've got some extra screws, it looks like. I'm digging that. I've never had anybody give me a, something like that. That's really cool. Okay. And here's what the inside looks like. Got some writing right there. Uh, it's, uh, it's their contact information if you want to go through Instagram, Dagger Knives, Russia, and the other, the other uh, contact information. This is a frame lock, y'all. They also make liner locks, but you know me, I, I, I want the frame lock. This is the first one. If I really like this, you know, this is gonna be the next knife I'll probably get into. And you know, and you know why, y'all? Because I like big knives. I like big long knives. And dagger knives from Russia, they're making some big long knives. <laughs> and so I want to check them out. Oh, it feels good. It's not too heavy. It's a good weight. Oh man, it's perfectly centered. I'm digging it. Perfectly centered. It's supposed to be coyote brown. And this is a, a steel frame lock. So this is stainless steel frame lock. It's not titanium or any other kind of material. It's steel. And it feels like it too. You know, this, this has a little bit of weight to it. Let's weigh it out real quick. Let's see what, how much it weighs. It's supposed to be, I think it was 6.4 ounces or something like that. Six point four ounces on the on the dot. Six point four ounces. It is exactly as advertised. Let's compare it to 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 one fifty four. Eight point seven ounces. <laughs> Eight point seven ounces. Seventy seventy five aluminum handle scales. That's why. This one's got a, a G ten. On one side, on the show side, it's G10. Full stainless steel liners and backspacer, it looks like. That looks like a stainless steel backspacer. It doesn't look like aluminum. It looks like the same material as the liners. 
The blade is D2. This is a Russian knife made in Russia. On the website, on Blade HQ, it says it's a product of Russia. And it's actually got a lock for the frame lock. And that's one of, that's one of the things I thought was really cool about it. The blade thickness is supposed to be, I think, 3 millimeter. Let, let me, uh, let's check it out. I'm digging this knife, people. You know, you know me, I like my big knives. And it's hard to find people that make big knives anymore. Everybody wants to make knives, you know, three and a half inches or smaller. I like them, you know, three and a quarter inches or bigger. <laughs> I prefer, you know, like the knives I actually carry every day are usually around four. The ones I like to, you know, carry all the time, the ones that are most desirable to me are the four inch ones. Because we have a four inch um, supposed blade limit. Three point two millimeters exactly. I think that's what it was advertised at. It was three point two millimeters. Let me see. You know, let's open it up. Make sure I'm getting the thickest part, huh? Getting the blade tang. Let me see. Let me. I'm, I'm, I gotta press it because I know sometimes I, I think I release it a little bit when I show you guys, and it, it shows a different measurement. There you go. Three point two. If it said three point two, that's what it's supposed to be. Three point two is what it's supposed to be saying. That's what it said when I checked it. Because I noticed that on some of the videos that, that I've made, that when, uh, when I, the, the part where I'm showing you the measurement, it shows a different measurement than what it actually is. Beautiful stone wash blade. It says Diger. D A G G E R R is the company's name. D A G G E R R. At extra R. Dagger Knives, Russia. My first Russian knife. And this side has D2 in there. They're, um, Company insignia is a skull. So that's what you see right there is a skull. You see their insignia is a skull and it says D2 below it. And this is also their trademark is their pocket clips. A screaming skull. Is that cool or what? I think it's cool. <laughs> and you know, I watched a lot of videos on this guy before I bought, before I per you know, went to go purchase this night because I was trying to purchase the Russian ones. But my bank account wouldn't let me do it, and um, my credit card companies wouldn't let my, you know, I only have a few credit cards. And the credit card companies I have, they, none of them would let me buy anything from Russia. So, and the only distributor is um, Blade HQ. And they only got a couple of these left, so if you want one, I would suggest you go get one. This is a beautiful knife. It's absolutely beautiful. And these are 80 bucks. $80. And the blade, I think, is supposed to be 5 inches, and the handle is supposed to be uh, 6 inches. It's supposed to be 11 inches total. It's a beautiful blade. The blade is about 4 and 7 eighths. It's a little bit under 5, five inches. Am I, am I measuring right? Make sure I got the tip right. Yeah, about four, seven, seven eighths. It's, it's, it's almost five. It's almost four. I mean, five inches. The handle is the same. About five and seven eighths also. Let me see how the lock works, huh? And you know me, people. I like safe knives, and I saw that lock on this. And that's what I think they need to do with all the all the liner locks too. Is it is make it so so? Oh yeah, can't close it. Can't close it. Then you release it. Then boom, and it's smooth. This is on bearings. It's got ceramic ball bearings. Uh, you know, caged ball bearings.
One guy was telling me that the that his um pocket clip was crooked. That's what I'm trying to see. It looks good to me. This one's a good one. And the they have another model also, and it's called the Vendetta. And it's the exact same size. It's a um, steel frame lock with D2 also. And it doesn't have the um the backspacer where you could put a lanyard on it. So it's got like it uses the same handle, I think, but they just take out this backspacer. Absolutely. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's handle heavy. It balances out right about there. You know, that's a lot of stainless steel. And nothing's lightened up. I don't see any um no, there is no um what do you call it skeletonizing of the of the handles of of the handle liners or handles and liners. And the frame lock side is thicker than the than the other side, the, the show side for the stainless steel thickness. So this is pretty thick, this side. It's not the same thickness as the liner. It's built like a tank. I'm going to link this one when I, when I post it for you guys. And I'm going to link some of his videos. Where he shows some destruction stuff that he does with this knife. This knife is a badass. <laughs> it's a badass. I think I I would like I like this model over the um, Vendetta. I know the Vendetta is the mo more popular model, but I like this model because it does have the lanyard. Even though I don't use lanyards, I just like having. I rather have that be there than not be there. On oh, the pocket clips, reversible to both sides. And in the eyes, in the eyes, if you, if you, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got blue eyes for the skull. That is too cool for school. I like this. And the eyes look, are like a star torque screw wrench. It is beautiful. I like it. I like it. When they come out with the, and when, when Blade HQ gets some Vendetta, I'm going to get that one too. And yes, I pulled this one out because I needed to compare it to something. And I'm comparing, I'm, I'm, I'm going from pivot to pivot. What I see is the pivot where the blades start. And then you can see how much longer the, the Tie Light 6 is. This one has a 6 inch blade. And this one has a five inch blade. Seven inch handle. Six inch handle, I mean, or almost six inch handle. Almost five inch blade. But you can see the comparison there. This feels really good in hand. I like this. I really like it. It's got a jimping on the top of the blade. And and unlike the Tide Light 6, this would be actually better at cutting things. Because it's got like a high flat ground blade. I don't know what you would call that blade. I don't know if you'd call it a spear or a drop point. Modified water clip. <laughs> I just I, I think it's more like a it looks more to me like a spear shape. It's like the knife I like to carry a lot, like, um... Like Archeo. My Artisan Archeos. I love these blades. This blade is a lot like it. What do you guys think? And we know this one can cut. We know the Archeo can cut. Let's compare it to some other big long knives I like too. All right, what should we bring up first? Huh? The Frenzy. I think the Frenzy is the closest one in size to it. Here goes the Frenzy. And you all know my Frenzy. That's my Frenzy that this is the one I carry. This is the one I modified. 
All right, next up, let me see. Let me see, uh, how about, how about another one that's closer to size, the size of it. My Benchmade 391BK. It's one of my favorite of all time knives here. I absolutely love this one. And for the same reasons, for the same reasons, I, I will probably like this one it's because it's thin and lightweight, but long and strong. <laughs> but this one's got a little bit shorter blade. This one has a four and a half inch blade as opposed to this one with its almost, you know, four and seven eighths inch blade. So they're the closest in size. Boom, 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 boom. And the next one I have is a five and a half incher. Let me see. Let's bring out a five and a half inch. Another one of my favorites. My Counterpoint XL. This is a BD1. BD1 XL. It's the one that stays in my box for knives I carry. Well, actually, this is supposed to be a six inch blade, but it's not really a six inch blade. It's more closer to five and a half inches. That's the reason why I brought this one out. I know they always advertise these as being a six inch blade, but they're not six inch blades. Take my word for it. I got three of these. None of them are six inch blades. <laughs> I got the Oz 8 one, I got the BD1 one, and I got the Oz 10 one. I got all three models. And all of them have the exact same size blade. They should be listing it as a five and a half inch blade. It's a touch over five and a half inches. It's like a sixteenth. Yeah, it's a little bit over five and a half inches, but it's not even close to being six inches. So, I, I call it a five and a half inch blade. And now, let me see. The only ones I got left to show you. That sort of fit in the same category, and what I'm calling the same category is slim. Slim and light and long. Okay, that's what we're shooting for. Slim and light and long. Next one up, I guess, would be the one that's in my box. It's my Chris that I modified also. I, I, I swapped the handle skills on it. Okay. And then the next one would be my holdout, holdout one or holdout XL. These have six inch blades. I see you, sweetie. I see you. I'm trying to line up the pivots for you guys. where the blades actually start. So now you can see the different sizes. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Absolutely love it, people. Dagger. This is a Condor. The model of this one is the Condor. As a liner lock lock. As a replaceable um, uh, hardened steel insert for, for if this if you ever wear this one out your it has a replacement that comes with the knife frame lock that's a stainless steel frame lock look at the pocket clip is that cool or what <laughs> a screaming skull ah very cool this is the coyote brown one it's the only color that they had at, at um, Blade HQ they also make liner locks, but I'm not a big liner lock fan, so I didn't want the liner locks. I, I want this one be, mainly because, not only because I like the way the knife looked, and I loved everything that the owner, the owner has a bunch of videos on YouTube. Go check them out. The dagger, the dagger videos, it's the owner that actually makes the videos. And he sort of reminds me of like the Russian version of uh, Lindsay Thompson. <laughs> but, uh, you know, go check it out. But I really like the fact that these have a liner lock. I mean, not a liner lock, but a frame lock lock. That is too cool for school. So that makes this, you know, it's already safe because it has a flipper and a, and a finger choil. Matter of fact, we didn't check it out to see if it would be safe, huh? It's safe. 
It'd be safe even without the lock. This one, I'm gonna carry this one a lot. I like this one. This might be my new favorite big knife to carry. From Mother Russia. Absolutely love this one. I love the dagger. You know, I like, you know, I'll tell you why I like it. It's nice and slim. So this would be a great knife either for my front pocket or to carry inside my vest. It'd be great for either or. I'll let you guys know though. I'm gonna carry it a lot and let you guys know what, if I like carrying that. I already know I will because it's lightweight too. It only weighs 6.4 ounces, which is extremely light. Let's compare weights. This could do weights. Let's do a weight weight check real quick. All right. Let's line up everything by its weight. You already know how uh, this by its size. Let's do it by weight now. First up. 4.1. Well, we know this one's going to stay there. <laughs> this one's 6.4. And now it's saying 6.3. Now it says 6.4. So it's probably barely 6.4. 5.6. So this one's heavier than the Frenzy. 8.5. Seven point one ounces. Seven point five ounces. So the counterpoint's the heavyweight. Well, no, this is the heavyweight. We all know this is the heavyweight. Eight point seven beats out the counterpoint. What was this? Eight point five. Yep, beats out the counterpoint. So there's the order and weight. So it weighs more than it weighs more than a frenzy, but less than a a, a, a counter uh, not a counterpart, but a tie light six, a regular tie light six with uh, the side tail handles. Very very cool. It feels like it feels like a real you know durable knife too. It doesn't feel like a wimpy knife. And no flex. No flex, people. No flex in this handle. This is a good knife. All right, let's go ahead and end the video. I think, we, did we cover everything? It's a flat ground blade. It's a high flat ground blade with the stone wash. And that handle, and the handle is stone wash too. The, the frame lock side of the handle is stone wash also. Matches the blade. All the hardware matches the blade. Everything looks stone wash. Except for maybe the pocket clip. I don't know if the pocket clip stone wash. This side, the show side, is G10. Coyote Brown G10. The model number is a Condor. The model uh, nomenclature, I guess you would say, is, is a Condor. Five inch blade, they advertise this being, I think, five inch blade and six inch handle, 11 inches all together. How long did we say it was all together? It was less than 11? Yeah, it's less than 11. It's like 10 and three quarters. Okay. There you go there. It's a beautiful knife. I actually love it. I want another one. Want another one? You guys better go get yours before I get that last one. I might go back and get another one. Because you know me, I like to have one in case one gets messed up. This is one I'm going to carry. That's going to my drawer. Peace out. Stiletto. Y'all stay safe and take care of yourselves. Peace out.